King Alfred, born in 849 CE, was the youngest son of King Ethelwulf of Wessex, one of the seven Anglo-Saxon kingdoms in England. From an early age, Alfred displayed qualities that would shape him into a revered leader. His bravery, intellect and strategic thinking set him apart, even during his childhood. During the late 9th century, England faced relentless Viking invasions. These fierce Norsemen pillaged and looted monasteries, towns and villages, striking terror into the hearts of the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. It was amidst this chaos that Alfred emerged as a beacon of hope. Determined to protect his people and reclaim their lands, Alfred led his warriors into numerous battles against the Vikings. With his innovative tactics and understanding of guerrilla warfare, he inflicted heavy losses upon his enemies, forcing them to retreat. However, Alfred soon realized that defeating the Vikings on the battlefield alone would not be enough to secure England's future. Alfred recognized the importance of education and instilled a love for learning in his kingdom. He established schools, invited scholars from across Europe, and personally translated numerous books into English. His efforts resulted in the preservation of crucial knowledge and the development of a strong intellectual culture within Wessex. Alfred's commitment to education extended beyond mere literacy. He went on to create a unified legal code, ensuring fairness and justice for all. His laws emphasized the protection of the weak, the maintenance of order, and the pursuit of a prosperous society. The Viking invasions had left England in ruins, but Alfred was determined to rebuild. He implemented ambitious infrastructure projects, constructing fortified towns and improving the kingdom's defenses. Moreover, he introduced efficient farming techniques, which not only increased agricultural output, but also brought economic stability to the land. Alfred's reign marked a turning point in English history. He successfully negotiated a peace treaty with the Vikings, known as the Treaty of Wedmore, which established a boundary between their territories. This agreement bought England much-needed respite, enabling the revival of trade and cultural exchanges. King Alfred's legacy extends far beyond his reign. His reforms laid the foundations for the unification of England and the emergence of a national identity. His commitment to education and justice left an indelible mark on Anglo-Saxon society, shaping its future for centuries to come. Today, we are fortunate to have tangible remnants of King Alfred's reign. The famous Anglo-Saxon chronicles, compiled during his time, provide invaluable insights into the events of the era. Additionally, the awe-inspiring statue of King Alfred, erected in Winchester, stands as a symbol of his enduring impact. And there you have it, folks. The remarkable tale of King Alfred the Great, a leader who defied the odds and reshaped the course of English history. From his battles against the Vikings to his reforms and England's revival, Alfred's story is an inspiration to us all. Please subscribe to our channel for more historical content.